It's Halloween and we are making a really fun recipe by Reed Drummond, also known as the Pioneer Woman. We're going to do something really fun that you probably do with your kids, um, or I would say do it on your own because it sounds messy, but we're making her pretzel spider webs. And the ingredient list is really simple. You just need pretzel sticks, like these little guys, um, some white chocolate, and then you just need some fun sprinkles and you're going to have some really fun party favors. All right, first we're gonna arrange our pretzel sticks. So it's pretty much like a pretzel star. So they all meet in the middle. She was very specific in terms of how we placed the white chocolate on because you really needed to hold it from the middle and you really needed to hold it from the outside as well. And as we're talking, I'm losing count, so I need to concentrate. <laughs> Step two, we're going to melt the candy melt. And you can do it in a microwave, in a microwave safe bowl, or you can do it slowly over the stove. I go microwave route because I find the best results for the microwave. You don't want to burn it. If you cook it too long, it'll get thick and it won't be the consistency to drizzle it over the pretzel. <gasps> I think it seized up on me. It looks, it's literally like, this looks like I was making bread and pie dough. Oh no. I have another one. Oh my god. I want two because I knew. How is it? It's smoother. Okay, good. Okay, so we need a, a packing bag, but I don't have one. I'm using the good old trusted ziplock bag, and we just need to cut the tip off. And I'm cutting it to be kind of fine because I want the spider web to be really thin. Okay. I'm going to use a spoon. And then. Oh. I'm going to just drizzle okay. it. <laughs> okay. And then we're just supposed to start in the middle. So she says to glop it in the middle because that's like the glue. It's going to hold your pretzels together. Oh yeah, I glopped it all right. <laughs> Careful with the spoon method. Okay, maybe the spoon method was not the best way to go. If you have like candy spiders or to add extra decoration. So I'm gonna try that as if this hasn't been enough work. We laced our spider webs as best as we can. We sprinkled our Halloween sprinkles and we're gonna let it sit for an hour and then we're gonna check it back in to see if we can actually lift it off the paper and serve it. Mine broke, but it looks good, doesn't it? No? <laughs> well, it is so cute, guys. I think the key is do what she says, use a piping bag, make sure you put enough in the middle, and then when you do it, make sure you connect all the web around every pretzel, and you make sure that you put a really good, like, two or three on the outside, because that's also going to be the glue. And I love it. I think it's adorable. It all right, totally let's bite into it and see if it makes a mess I think it will. Mm. Sprinkles everywhere. I'm only half joking about the mess. I am not loving the mess of sprinkles and pieces of white chocolate all over the floor if people were to come over and have this. It is good. I would make this. Or more of them. So definitely worth our time. Reed Drummond, thanks for the tip. This is definitely Pinterest worthy. And he was definitely impressed the other moms in class. So thanks for watching another one of our videos and we hope that you'll stay and watch more of our videos and we hope to see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.